All right, so here we are. Um, first time doing a video blog, so not every I don't have this great setup or anything. There's a big window there. There's light shining on my face. I'm using the camera from my laptop. It's not really that great, but you know, it's, it's whatever. It's my first one, so oh well. Um, for those of you who don't uh, follow me in any respect or are new to this, I write a lot of articles about video games and uh, movies and whatnot. A lot of a lot of nerdy things, like like a lot of geek, geeky stuff. Uh, so it's my first time doing a video blog, so go easy on me, internet. I know how you can be sometimes. <laughs> Uh, but I, what I want to talk about today uh, is this overabundance of games being remade for the new consoles that don't I don't think they really need to be. Let me back up for a second. Recently, you know, Xbox One, PS4 came out, uh, and they re remastered or redid whatever you want to call it, uh, Rayman Tomb Raider. Okay, fine, whatever. And then they announced. The Last of Us for the PS4. Okay. Then they ousted GameStop. Uh, uh, GameStop's website had The Walking Dead Game of the Year edition for PS4. Um, I think it's only PS4. Uh, okay. Then there's these rumors and uh, and all swirling about like Grand Theft Auto V and Beyond Two Souls uh, being remastered for for consoles as well. I just, I can't get my head around this. Like, from a business aspect, I understand. You want to make money, so just do a little tweaking and rehash your old shit. Okay, I get that. And I, I should, let me take that back. It's not old. That's the point. It's not old. It's not even a year old for most of these titles. And you're already remastering it for a new console. Games like Final Fantasy, uh, Kingdom Hearts, God of War... I understand remastering those games for a new platform, especially when you bundle them in a pack like that. Sly Cooper Collection, Jack and Daxter, those are great games. Those are also on the PS2. Those are several, uh, several years old. I get it. I understand why you do that. Games like Last of Us, not even a year old, getting a remaster coming out in June, I don't get. I play The Last of Us. It's a great game. It's a great looking game. I don't want to spend an extra $60 on a game that's slightly a little bit better. That's all it comes down to. And, of course, this is my opinion. I know there's people that are excited for it, and that's fine. Do what you want. I just, I'm so, I'm just, I think what I'm more uh, frustrated by is that consoles that come out, like the Xbox One PS4, if you're going to put out a console, make some damn games for it. Instead of putting it out with a few titles, like, you know, Xbox One had, like, Rise and Forza 5 or whatever, and there's several months. Oh, and then Titanfall comes out. Same thing with Sony. Killzone. Several months. Infamous Second Son. Oh, thank God, we have something new. What else is coming out uh, besides fall? You know, in the fall? Is there anything coming out in the summer? I don't even know at this point. The point is, if we didn't have this big a gap, maybe we wouldn't be having all these rematches of the games that we've already played and something new to get excited about. Because right now, I love my PS4, but you are the biggest culprit in this whole thing. And I swear to God, Grand Theft Auto V, which I've completed, Beyond Two Souls, which I've completed, I can't spend it. I can't spend any more money. Um, and not going to. Uh, it's your opinion. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just kind of looking at this in the wrong perspective. But the whole point of this is, Put games out on a console if you're going to release a new console so people aren't waiting and waiting to enjoy their PlayStation 4s or Xbox Ones.